everybody, my name is Charlotte, and these are my friends. They're all dental hygienists that have gone back to work to treat their patients after this COVID break, and they are hot. And yes, although they're gorgeous, beautiful human beings inside and out, I'm talking temperature hot, like sweat running down the back hot. Most of them have severe headaches at the end of the day because they're literally not getting enough oxygen. And yes, many of them do actually monitor their oxygen levels during the day to be on the safe side. They are covered up from head to toe in multiple layers. And these layers are not to be removed when they greet their patients. They can't show off their beautiful smiles when they pass by coworkers or their bosses in the hallway. It's weird, stressful, and it's uncomfortable. But right now, this is deemed necessary until further notice. Now, I'm not gonna delve into some conversation about PPE, what I feel is correct and necessary. I'm also not gonna talk about governing boards, associations, or the CDC. Today, I'm gonna talk about just one thing, one layer of protection that you don't actually wear, but something that I've been thinking about for a long time. Aerosol reduction devices. So dental professionals, and I mean the entire team, all the people that are working directly on patients, are covered in particles uh, that come from patients' mouths all day long. Dental procedures, they just stir up a cloud of nastiness that we're all just used to being in, right? Spit, blood, tartar, bacteria, viruses, tooth parts, phlegm. Yeah, I said it. And yes, there are particles floating around in the air around all of us when we're just going about our business, talking and walking. But I'm more honed in on this fairly small danger zone, a literal splash zone, making the dental industry the riskiest career path for passing along disease and potentially being bad for your overall health during your lifetime. But here's the difference and here's the reason why I'm making a tribute right now to my dental hygiene friends. Most of our brand ambassadors are, are hygienists, so I'm speaking directly to them um, and for them on their behalf. And I was a dental hygienist for 20 years. Typically, hygienists don't work with an assistant using a suction. So our job is generally um, you know, a solo type gig. That's what I loved about it. Um, you know, It's just you and the patient for a long period of time. I know a lot of my friends that you saw in those pictures and that are in this burst community, that's what they love about it. Now, I, I will admit that it wasn't a lot until the, maybe the last couple years of practice that I even consider having a device that I could attach to my high volume suction to catch all those nasties. Um, most of the time, it was a slow volume suction tip with a backflow preventer. Sometimes I would break out a relief to go in the cheek um, those were really cool. And I did that partly for specific procedures like sealants, longer scaling and replanning visits, or just in a situation where I really needed to bump up the power on my ultrasonic and I could, you know, just so I could see what I was doing. But then you also see this aerosol cloud forming. But now that we're at a new kind of fork in the road of infection control, maybe it's a good time for everyone together to just have a nice reflection, a nice responsible chat about a plan for implementing some aerosol reduction devices. Now, of course, we all hope that the required PPE will become a little more reasonable as the overall risk for the COVID-19 goes down. Um, you know, and just on a side note, like I can't help but think of what it must have been like when dental professionals went from not wearing gloves at all to being required to wear gloves. I know it's not exactly the same, definitely not. I get that, but it's similar. Or maybe when collectively the industry said, okay, any type of drill that was used had to be autoclaved after each patient, or uh, that tap water should be treated before it goes into the mouth, that the lines, water lines should be treated. Anyway, so let's try to have a positive look at some changes that maybe, maybe they just need to happen. I want my friends to be able to breathe all of them. I want them to be able to use their ultrasonic scalers at will when they need them to give the best care possible. More importantly, I want them to feel safe. I want them to be safe. And even taking COVID out of this equation, don't you think that maybe 
we should continue to treat everyone in the chair like they have a potential disease, the potential to make others ill. So in this segment, I'm just gonna highlight three options that I think are innovative, they're effective, they're really cool. So the first up is Dr. Zog. He's a dentist and he's gonna show us a shield suction combo that he developed. So this is brand new. It's really cool stuff. There's a lot of options. And then you're gonna see the suction, which are these little autoclavable pieces that you can attach to your high volume suction on a cheek retractor. Or now they even have an, an adjustable arm to hold that suction in place for you. And lastly is a video by Vanaman, who I, I didn't realize this, I'll admit, they've been around for 30 years. So we're gonna learn more about their Vanguard Gold mobile unit. So now it's time for me to stop talking and let you take a peek at these products. Hi, I'm Dr. Spencer Zog. I've been asked to give you a, a little bit of a description of what the Zyber Shield is and how it works. We've already attached it to the chair, but this is an arm that, it, that attaches to the headrest of the chair and uh, just has a couple of screws. Once it's on, you leave it on and, and um, you can then adjust it from there. These arms have three adjustable points, which allow uh, highly adjustable uh, adjustability for each patient. It also comes with the clear, clear shield. This shield is uh, very nice because you can see through it, you can do all your procedures and create a barrier between you and the patient. The nice thing also about this is it has a negative airflow. We've, uh, we've connected it to the high-speed vacuum and can access that when we're doing anything that causes a mist. So um, these are, those are the highlights, but I'd like to show you kind of how it works. So my wife has been generous is to be the patient so that I don't have to get in all of my PPE and uh, allow, allow me to be able to continue to video. I'll lean the patient back. This is the neutral position. That's where the patient gets in and exits. All right. So, very simple. Just pull that over. Then once the lower knob is done, and then just slightly down, I usually keep it parallel to me rather than parallel to the floor, so it has a little tint up. I will just show you quickly that I can access all areas without having any issues. Each quadrant can be done. Sometimes I slide over here and access this quadrant. The light can shine right through it and it makes a really nice barrier. from Suction Dental and this is our newest aerosol reduction device. It only weighs one ounce with cheek retractors and it's autoclavable. The suction device is proudly manufactured in the U.S. and constructed of the highest quality autoclavable material. When you receive our suction device, you will notice the unique properties are very different than other products in your office. Our team of scientists sourced a material that is over 200% stronger, 6% lighter, and can withstand 95% greater temperatures than a standard plastic. If you prefer, with the help of an assistant, you can use our device without attaching to the cheek retractors. The Vanguard Gold Mobile, an extraoral dental suction system designed to capture chairside droplets and airborne contaminants in the dental operatory. Brought to you by Vanaman, a U.S. manufacturer and trusted name in the dental industry for over 30 years.
The Vanguard Gold Mobile is designed to reduce the spread of airborne particles during dental operatory procedures by providing extra oral suction near the mouth of the patient. Its compact design weighs only 40 pounds and can be easily moved as needed. Aerosols are captured by an airtight flexible suction tube with links that can be added or removed along with a wide capture mouth which can be positioned near the patient during operation. As aerosols are created, a powerful turbine motor pulls in airborne particles into a two-stage HEPA filtration system which safely captures contaminants. Noise is kept low at 53 decibels to prevent noise pollution to patients and staff thanks to a perfectly sealed design. Disinfection is simple as the capture mouth and entire hose system can be removed and sterilized as needed with hot soapy water or an alcohol-based solution. Maintenance is simple thanks to an easily accessible side panel for replacement of the stage one particle filter and stage two HEPA filter. All right, now's the time where I say thank you for watching. We appreciate you being here, we really do. And if you have any questions about any of these devices, all their pricing, their websites, their details, contact information, that's gonna be in the description of this video. We're not in any way sponsored by any of these companies or people. In fact, they didn't reach out to me. I contacted them. Um, I'm simply here to get some conversations going and to share some information that might be helpful to you. So if you enjoyed this segment, even just a tiny little bit, do me a favor, give us a thumbs up. If you liked it a lot, you learned something, saw something cool, or you just wanna show some support, make sure to hit subscribe and uh, you'll be notified every time we release a new video. Thanks everybody, have a great day.